Hey guys, what to trade this work? In this video, we'll discuss very tricky price action on gold. We will execute multiple time frame analysis on dollar cat peer. We will discuss dollar swiss and I will share with you my predictions for Dow Jones index and your dollar. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's start. I want to start our analysis with the dollar cat pair. We are in a daily time frame, and if you watched my previous video, you knew that I have perfectly predicted bullish movement on dollar cat. I spotted the bullish breakout of that horizontal resistance in a bullish triangle, and you can see that then the market bounced nicely. And the thing is that currently the pair is approaching a very important horizontal resistance. And depending on the reaction of the price to that resistance, I see two potential scenarios. Because the peer is trading in a bearish trend, first let's discuss the bearish scenario, because probabilities are quite high that from that structure we will see the bearish reaction. In order to confirm the initiation of a bearish movement, I want you to monitor the hourly time frame. On an hourly time frame, we can spot in details how the price reacts to our resistance. And you can see that here the market is ranging, the market is consolidating and the price formed the horizontal trading range. Within that range, the market participants are deciding where the market will go next. And your bearish confirmation, your bearish signal on dollar cat will be a bearish breakout of the support of the range. If the hourly candle closes below the support of the range, it will be a strong bearish signal. And then we will expect a bearish continuation. If you're wondering how to short the market properly, the best solution is to wait for an hourly candle close below the support of the range. Then you set your sell limit order on a retest of a broken support, set your stop loss above the highs of the range, and your initial target for the trade is the current structure low. Yes, here it goes. So that is the scenario for shorting. And remember that you strictly need the bearish violation of the support of the range before you short. Now let's discuss the bullish scenario. We are in a daily time frame again. And as you remember, we have our resistance right here. But looking left at structure, we also have quite peculiar resistance over here lying just a little bit above the resistance that we spotted earlier. So I will be bullish on the pier if the price breaks the entire area based on these two structures. I want to see the bullish breakout of that wide zone. I want to see the daily candle glyphs above that area because only then only then the change of the sentiment will be confirmed. Only then, to me, it will become clear that the trend is reversing right here, that the market is not bearish anymore, and that it becomes bullish. After the breakout of that blue zone, I will expect a bullish movement at least to that resistance. That will be the closest structure. But remember, that scenario will be confirmed only after a daily candle close above that area. Now, do John's index. We are in a weekly time frame. And as you know, earlier the index reached a very important horizontal resistance. And you can see that we attempted to violate that resistance multiple times, but each time the weekly candles closed below that, confirming the strengths of that resistance. And zooming in the chart and analyzing the candlesticks, we can spot that the market formed bearish engulfing candles. Here, you can see that the body of that bullish candle was completely engulfed. And of course, such a formation is a very strong bearish signal. If you open a daily time frame, we can see that on a daily time frame, the market was consolidating. You can see that the index was ranging and we were trading within that narrow horizontal range. And here we can spot the classic double top pattern, classic reversal pattern. And you can see that on Friday, the market violated its snake line. The market violated that daily support and closed below that. It makes me think 
tutors that the index will most likely drop lower. So far, the first target that I would consider is based on that daily resistance. You can see that here we have quite important horizontal structure. So that will be the first goal for the sellers. And if the price violates that support, we will expect the bearish continuation to lower structures. The next goal for the sellers then will be that resistance. Now, let's analyze the price action on euro dollar appear. And I guess you would agree with me that even though for the last two or three weeks the market is bearish, the fact is that we are still trading in a global bullish trend. So for now, this bearish movement is simply the correctional movement for us. And we are looking for the signal to buy the peer expecting the bullish continuation. For now, what we can spot analyzing the recent price action is that currently the market is ranging and we are trading within that horizontal range. Also, if we analyze the lows and highs, we can spot right here the formation of the bullish flag pattern. So depending on the reaction of the price to the boundaries of that range and that flag, we will either see the bullish movement or the bearish movement. In order to confirm the initiation of the trend following move, you will need the breakout of both the resistance of the flag and the resistance of the range. So you will need the daily candle clues above the trend line and the horizontal resistance. Then a bullish continuation will be expected at least to that horizontal resistance. If you want to short, however, I would suggest looking for a bearish breakout of the support of the range. The daily candle clues below the support of the range will be a strong bearish signal and then a bearish continuation will be expected to that horizontal support. That is the plan for euro dollar. Now dollar Swiss and as you know I have the winning prediction streak on dollar Swiss and for the last four videos I successfully predict the moves on dollar Swiss. And the fact is that dollar Swiss have violated that horizontal resistance. We closed above that and then last week we got its retest. You can see that we were rejected from that structure and it feels like the market may go higher. If we open a four hour time frame, on a four hour time frame we can spot that the market here is correcting within the expanding wedge pattern. You can see that for now, the price perfectly respects its boundaries. I will expect the bullish continuation on dollar Swiss if the price breaks and closes above the resistance of that watch. The four hour candle close will confirm the violation. And first, I will expect the retest of a corn hoy, and if the price violates that, if the price sets a new hoy, then the next goal for the buyers will be at the next strong daily structure resistance. And our next daily structure resistance will be over here that major cluster. And by the way, from there, we will look for shorting. Maybe if you ask me to share the updated analysis for gold and now, traders, it is very tricky. The fact is that last week gold reached that horizontal structure support and from that support we were rejected. However, if we zoom in the chart, we can also spot that here we have the local minor daily resistance. So technically speaking, gold is currently trading between two horizontal key levels. Very strong support and the minor resistance. And in such a situation, traders, the best advice that I give to you is to wait for a breakout. Breakout will be your best trigger. And of course, bearish breakout of that support. The daily candle clues below that will be extremely strong bearish signal. That will initiate a strong bearish continuation. And then we will expect a bearish movement at least to that support. Yes, that will be our next strong support cluster. If you want to buy, however, of course, the best 
signal is to wait for a daily candle close above that resistance. The daily violation of that will confirm the strengths of the buyers and the bullish continuation will be expected then. The goal for the buyers will be the trend line. If we take that high and draw a trend line, we can spot that here we have a major falling trend line. And if the price breaks our horizontal resistance, the goal for the buyers will be that falling trend line. This week we are expecting the US inflation data. And as you know, that is the main catalyst for gold. So if you are looking for the fundamental confirmation, I would suggest waiting for the release of this news. Cheers, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I always reply. Also, cheers, if you, if you want to learn how to trade, do not forget to check my premium group. The link in the description below. Also, cheers, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you soon.